So you're about to shoot a music video and then the artist last second hits you up. Yo, you got a fisheye lens? No. In today's tutorial, we're gonna take normal looking footage and make it look like it was shot using a fisheye lens by using After Effects. Now, if you're not too crazy about After Effects, don't worry, I have an Adobe Premiere tutorial very similar to it, but I like this method even better and I think it's even easier. Quick things before we get started, I shot this in 4K, but it doesn't matter if you're in 1920 by 1080, that's fine, it's just, this will involve scaling up, so you will lose a little bit of quality if you can't shoot in 4K or above. So I recommend 4K, but it's not necessary. I decided to model my fisheye off of the fisheye that they use in one of Yellow Wolf's music videos, so I'm just going to be using this as my reference image. All right, go ahead and open up your footage in After Effects. Now go over to the effects and search for CC Lens. Drop that on your footage, and then I changed the size to 53, and then the convergence to negative 200. So now we've kind of got a bulging frame, and we're going to need to scale it up. Go ahead and hit S on the keyboard to bring up the scale, and now we're going to scale up the footage till it's taking up about 85% of the screen. So there can be some black spaces on the edge because that fisheye lens look has black on the edge, so we don't need to just keep scaling up for no reason. All right, now right click under your clip in that timeline area and go to new solid. We're going to create a new black solid. Make sure that solid is on top of your footage and then go over to the ellipse tool up on the toolbar and if you don't see it, it could be a square. You just click and hold that and it'll bring down the drop down menu for that and you find the circle tool and make sure that you are highlighted on that black solid and then click and drag your circle mask. Now you're gonna wanna change that mask mode to subtract so now basically everything in that circle is revealing the frame below and then we have the black edges and you can feel free to resize if it's not lining up perfectly or if you want to make different points of the circle bigger all right after it's centered on your frame go ahead and duplicate that black mask so now we're going to boost the feather and then lower the mask expansion I boost the mask feather to 142 and then the mask expansion down to negative 49 but you can feel free to do whatever values you think looks best basically what we're creating is that thin black vignette around the distortion of the fisheye lens. And that's it, you're already done. That is how you do that fisheye lens look in After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials and videos. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.